Chris Popper. I'm joined by Peter Miller, and I feel overdressed because I'm in long pants and you're in a kilt. And I, it's we're gonna get snow tonight, Peter. I, why are you in a kilt? <laughs> so I am getting ready for our production for the Gilbert and Sullivan Society of Maine, putting on Pirates of Penzance. Okay. So I get to be our Scottish representative on the Hardy crew. <laughs> no haggis or anything like nope, that. Nope. Oh, thank uh, goodness. No, but plenty of pirate sherry as we sing right from oh, the beginning. Oh, excellent. There you go. <laughs> All right. So uh, the Pirates of Penzance is the Gilbert and Sullivan Society. So yep. when is that going to be on stage? So we're going to perform for the next two weekends, starting this Friday uh, at 7 o'clock and then Saturday and Sunday at 2 o'clock for matinees. Then the following weekend will be the same schedule, Friday at 7, and then Saturday and Sunday at 2 o'clock. All right. And there's a reason why there's not a Saturday night performance this week, and that is because of why you've been working nonstop around the clock here. It's the grand... Grand opening. The grand <laughs> unveiling of... The 3D projection. Yep, so as you know, we have been working constantly, some of us pulling all nighters to get this stuff done. We finally have our new screen, our digital cinema projection that's all installed. We still have some part of our project left and to raise money for, but we are ready to unveil this to the public. So we're going to show a 3D showing of Up. And I've never seen it in 3D. It's supposed to be just amazing as it comes out into life. It is. It is fantastic. We got to test it last night. And, uh, you know, even for people like us that wear glasses, these glasses that we have from Dolby fit right over top. And I had no problems using them to watch it. So for those of you who thought, you know, maybe I can't do 3D because I have glasses, try it. Come out and take a look. All right. And it, the uh, performance of Up, the, the screening of Up in 3D is... Uh, free, but it's by donation. Yep, so it is a suggested donation of five dollars. You know, eat plenty of popcorn and concessions, that helps out too. And you know, 7 30 is when the show starts, and we hope to see everybody here. It's gonna be a great time. And that's going to because there there is some money still left to be collected. Yeah, and, we and have about ten thousand dollars left to raise. We do have a GoFundMe, and we have multiple sources on our website you can go to to find ways to donate. Um, but we're about ten thousand dollars short right now now um, so we have some projects that, that need to be completed but nothing that's standing in our way of getting things going now well one of those projects is the sanitizing of the of the Dolby um 3D glasses. Yep, so because every, every time we wear them, it's a safety hazard. Right. So what we do is we have to wash them with very special chemicals in a very special machine. So you have to raise money for that. And we're also still raising money to finish off the projection room to make it completely dust-free and air-conditioned. So, you know, those are projects that we're trying to finish off. We just need the public's help to get that last 10000 oh, I'm sure you will. $165,000 I mean, project. We've got 10000 left. It's, it's a good day in Maine. Exactly. <laughs> All right. And besides Besides uh, Pirates of Penzance and Up, it's also next week starts the, the return of the winter, uh, I guess winter going into spring, because spring can't come fast <laughs> enough, uh, Cinegrand series. Yep, so we're showing Love and Friendship Tuesday night, and then uh, we'll reprise it Monday at one, or Wednesday. Wednesday at one o'clock and the Wednesday showings we're going to be going back to the closed captioning so for those of you who got used to that we will be continuing that tradition even with DCP we can do that so it's going to be a great viewing great way to open up our Cinegrand series again and then on Thursday we have NT Live doing St. Joan the story of Joan of Arc all right so if you want to see everything that's happening because it's like non-stop action now here at the Grand uh, you can go to the website correct yep so www.grandonline Org, and that has our entire calendar with all the events coming up that we know of so far. And things are getting booked. So you they, can things keep, are getting booked, calendars yeah. filling up. Summer will be here before we oh, blink. Please. <laughs> if I ever come across the groundhog, he and I are having a chat. No <laughs> doubt about it. Yeah. All right. And you can also call Kim in the box office. Yep, absolutely. We can help you at any time during our business hours at 667-9500. All right. I'm going to let you go put some real pants on <laughs> and uh, because there's snow and you don't want I got shoveling to do still. Exactly. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching this video. Check out all the other videos we have on the WDEA YouTube channel.